Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video is going to be a, um, well, my everyday makeup, which is this. Let's just get straight into it. Um, but for primer, I usually go in with the e.l.f. Um, poreless face primer, which is the pink one. I don't really have that many pores, um, but I just find that this is just quite a good primer. So I literally just put it on my finger. For foundation, I'm going to go in with I'm gonna shake it up, another e.l.f. product. Um, this is, I don't even know what this is called. It's called Flawless something. And this is in the shade Alabaster. But yeah, I think it's called Flawless Finish Foundation or something like that. And what I do is I kind of just pump it on my finger. And then I kind of just dot it all over my face. And then I just take um, a damp beauty blender. This isn't really a beauty blender, it's just a makeup sponge from Primark. Okay, so for concealer, I'm going to go in with the Revolution. This is actually the super size Conceal and Define. I can't get the lid open. Oh my god, I can't get the lid open. Yes, yeah, so I'm going to go in with the Conceal and Define. This is in shade C1. I don't know why I had to look because I didn't know that. Yeah, so once that's then blended out, I then obviously go in with powder just to set that so it doesn't crease throughout the day. Um, today I'm going to go in with the Fenty Pro Filter Powder. This is in the shade Butter. Now, I'm fairly new with this powder, um, but it's so nice. I mean, look at that. It's so nice. And this is such a nice shade as well. Oh my god, I'm not going to be able to open any of these lids. I'm just going to pick some up on this Primark brush that just came in a set. It's just kind of a, a dense brush, but I'm just gonna pick a tiny bit up because a tiny bit goes a long way. Um, then the next step for me after powder is bronzer, and this is the Barry M Staycation Bronzer Palette. It just looks like this, that might be a bit bit easier so it's kind of got two sides it's got like kind of more of a highlighted side and a more bronzy side but I just mix these two together and it's and it's really really nice it's really pretty so I usually pick my bronzer up with this it's so old I don't know where I got it from I'm pretty sure my mum got it from the wholesalers a couple of years ago it's broken it's that old but it is the perfect bronzer brush and then what I tend to do with my bronzer is before when I used to start when I first started doing makeup I would literally put bronzer all over my face just to bronze it up because obviously I am pale I am fair skinned um but I've obviously learning about makeup etc I kind of just do it so it's best for my face shape Then I go in with a fan brush. This was, this actually came in like a 22 piece set from eBay or something like that. And again, it's that old, it's just actually broken, but I just might as well use it. Um, but yeah, no, so I go in with a fan brush to do my um, cheek contour. So again, I go in with the, with the bronzer shade. And then taking a brush like this, and this is actually from the same set as the brush I use for my powder, get a bit of bronzer, tap the excess off. This is so funny for my nose, are kind of going like that, just so it's kind of straight. Then 
don't even know if you're going to be able to tell that difference but after the bronzer I go in with blush and I always as I mentioned in my previous video I'm going in with my absolute favorite blush which is Luminoso by Milani usually I will go for like a more angled one like this just so then it hugs the cheek a bit better Too much blush isn't it okay then obviously highlight which is my favorite bit because I have so many highlighters I just like it that is probably the hardest part of my everyday makeup routine to pick a highlighter because I have so many and I just want to use them all at the same time but today I'm going to go in with the MUA makeup academy shimmer highlight powder in iridescent gold this is gonna be gold oh no so this is in shade Iridescent Gold. I hope it's not too gold. Morphe M510 brush. This is just a little, I, I only started using this brush recently and I'm, I don't know why I didn't get it any sooner. It's the perfect highlighter brush. Um, but again, tapping off the excess. Not doing anything? doing a tiny bit but again it's so gold after highlighter I then go in with brows my everyday brow product is the um, Primark eyebrow pencil and I use the shade dark brown and then I brush all my brow hairs up and then obviously I take the pencil side and I kind of, I always outline the bottom bit first. And then when I get to kind of towards the end, I brush them as if they were gonna be normal. And then I kind of do the top the top towel bit so I, so the towel is always kind of perfect in a sense and I don't have the longest eyebrows in the world I work with what I've got and then just do the same with the other brow and already I'm getting a sweaty top lip um, and then I go in with the Pretty Little Thing Brow Gel. This is just a little tester I got in one of my orders. I don't even know what shade it is. It's definitely not my shade. I think it's like blonde or taupe. But I'm not sure. It's definitely not my shade, but it doesn't actually come up that bad. I then go in with the eyeshadow primer and I use this. I don't particularly like it, but I just use it to get rid of it what I do for eyeshadow in my everyday routine um, I usually just go in with one shade and I do it all over the lid um, and I take it just a little bit above my crease and that is literally it I'm gonna take this BH Cosmetics V5 brush which just looks like this so it's just a big fluffy eyeshadow brush I'm gonna go in with my Kat Von D shade and light contour palette just because it actually has some nice browns in there. So I'm going to try that middle shade. I will get my highlighter shade. I'm going to take this Spectrum A07 brush, so it's just kind of like a really, really small, dense brush. And I like to just put a bit in my inner corners. So the mascara I use every single day is this Too Faced Better Than Sex mascara. And I am going in with the um, Primark Aladdin lashes, excuse them because I have actually worn them a couple of times, um, but these are so, so good, these are so pretty, and only for £2, you can't really go wrong, 
and then I go in with my certify glue which is the best glue I've ever tried okay so then once both eyelashes are done I then take the mascara again and I go in with my bottom lashes I'm gonna go in with the Kylie Cosmetics um, lipstick in the shade Angel now this is I got from um, a holiday set a couple of years ago So this is my everyday makeup routine. Um, this is pretty much the same look that I do every day on a daily basis when I do makeup. Um, yeah, I not really much to it. It's just kind of really, really basic. So I hope you all enjoyed this video as much as you possibly can because I know it's quite boring just because it's nothing extravagant, it's nothing colorful or anything like that, but it's just to give you an insight of what my everyday makeup routine is like and what sort of products I use and how I kind of do it all. Um, but yeah, I'd really appreciate it if you gave it a massive thumbs up, that would mean a lot to me, or even subscribe, that would be even better. Um, no, I hope you liked this video, and I will see you in the next one, whenever that will be. But yeah, I'll see you in the next one.